Welcome to another trip down the Bourbon Road with your hosts, Jim and Mike. So grab a glass of your favorite bourbon and kick back. We would like to thank our friends at Premium Bar Products for sponsoring this episode. If you're ready to step up your game at your home bar, check out premiumbarproducts.com to choose from their wide selection of glassware, all of which can be custom engraved with your personal message or logo. And there's no minimum order. So after the episode, head over to premiumbarproducts.com and check out everything they have to offer. Now, let's get on with the show. But before we get on with the show, we'd like you to take a few minutes and recognize the fact that, you know, today is Memorial Day. Uh, It is uh, it's a day in which we we pause and we reflect on the sacrifices that were made in the 245 years that our nation's been in existence. One point two million Americans have given the ultimate sacrifice, uh, either securing our freedom or maintaining that freedom. And uh, that's a lot of lives. That's a lot of uh, uh, love given uh, to a nation that is so deserving uh, and so giving to its people. We want to make sure we take the time to recognize, even though, you know, we're all having a great time. It's, it's a wonderful time to celebrate and enjoy this freedom, spend time with family, spend time with friends, uh, raise a glass, take a moment, and uh, and remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice uh, that that we can enjoy what we do today hello everybody i'm jim shannon i'm mike Hi. and this is the bourbon road and today mike we have another craft distillery monday once again at jim's basement bar yeah it's looking good we've pulled out a bottle today actually a bottle that was sent from a distillery in Georgia. Yeah, Cumming, Georgia, just north of Atlanta. So we've had Georgia whiskey before. A couple of different companies have sent us stuff, and, and we tend to like it, you know. But this is from Legends. Uh, you know I'm excited about this one. Why is that, Jim? Well, it's a weeded burp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were commenting. Uh, the label is kind of confusing because it's got a green label, and, and most green labels, except for one green label, is a what? It's a rye. Yeah. Well, I mean, except for the one, you know, the special reserve. Right? The granddaddy. <laughs> the granddaddy of green labels, right? <laughs> yeah. The granddaddy of weeded bourbon. Um, but this has a green label. Maybe they're trying to throw back to that, I guess. Um, this is 115 proof. They're calling it through barrel strength. Yeah, that's that's pretty high proof for a weeded bourbon. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, you had asked me this question earlier. Do I know any weeded bourbons that are higher than 115 proof? And I don't. I'd uh, say Wilderness Trail, if you find a pick. Yeah. Um, makers, Single barrels. Maker's Mark might have something in that high range like that. The cask strength is going to be higher than that. Um, well, there's full proofs at 114, so it's yeah. close. So there are some out there. So this is right in that range. We know this is a straight bourbon whiskey. It's not age stated, so we know it's more than four years old. Uh, assuming they're following all the rules, and I, I would hope that they are, um, it's a, it's labeled as a straight bourbon, but there's no age statement on it anywhere, which means it's got to be over four years old. So a weeded bourbon over four years. 115 proof out of Georgia. Now, their Spirits USA is their brand, um, and their brand of whiskey is uh, Legends. Okay. Then one of the things I noticed on here is they've got uh, quantum purity. You know, they've got a quantum purity process that's a patented process. I don't know anything about that. See it on the bottle, saw it on the website, not a lot of information on it. We'll come back, folks, at a later date and tell you when when and how we know more about it. Is that like quantum physics? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a neat logo. Um, but, you know, they, this this is a very, very clear uh, liquid, very crystal clear. Um, I would say light amber. Yeah, light amber. And I, that's why I was saying that, you know, four, maybe five years old. I would think we could be totally wrong on that. 
Well, I'm pretty excited to taste it, Mike. So let's get right to it. Let's check out the nose on this. Right off the bat, I'm getting that honeysuckle, that floral. Not a whole lot of corn in there. No, no, but definitely a little bit of caramel and vanilla, but that's all backed up by that. That You can say honeysuckle, I'll go for it. I'm not a flower guy, but yeah, I'm getting floral notes there. A little bit of spice, not too much. You know, I was driving my tractor to my neighbor's yesterday, Jim. Yeah. And uh, I was over there picking up horse manure. <laughs> yeah. I know people are thinking you're going to say horse manure. I'm not going to say horse manure. I was over there picking up horse manure. Uh, he takes and mucks his stalls and then he puts it into a compost pile and he tills it up with topsoil. And I use it for my garden and I was planting potatoes. But it's probably a quarter of a mile down the road and honeysuckle right now smells really good. So I'm driving along and I, I catch a big whiff of that because it was a hot, humid day here in Kentucky yeah. yesterday. And I caught that whiff and that just reinforced that smell to me. So I definitely get that honeysuckle in here. Yeah, it's it's light and airy. It's not overly sweet on the nose, though. No, I get a little bit of, not mint, but mm. some type of yeah. spice. Maybe that's the barrel spice I'm getting from yeah, this. Yeah, light and airy. You know, it's that, that note of... Uh, of Lightness and coolness. Spare mint? It could be a little bit of mint. I don't know which one, uh, but again, it's uh, cool and refreshing and light is the impression that it gives me. Let's taste it. Cheers. Cheers. Now, they're, that's sweet. Damn, boom. They, yeah, boom, boom. I had no clue from the nose that it was going to come hit the palate with that, that amount of sweetness. But it's a syrupy sweetness. Almost maple syrup, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a, it's a very viscous to me. You know, you said oily. That viscous, uh, it, it's, it's good. A lot of barrel spice on this. It's like that Pop Rocks we're always talking about. So the barrel's contributing spice to this, no doubt. We're talking about a weeded bourbon. So in a weeded bourbon, we're dealing with corn, 51% or greater. The flavoring grain being wheat, and then some small percentage, I'm sure, of malted barley to kick off that process in the fermenters. But that spice, it's coming from the barrel. Has to be. This is a pretty good weeded bourbon. Um, at 115 proof, I really like this, Jim. Yeah, I'd have to say that I'm pretty impressed with it. It's got a lot going on in the back and in the finish. Mm -hmm. And then all that Kentucky hug is starting yeah. to kick home, right? Definitely. So this is definitely not a sweet mash, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> well, I'd be surprised if it were. Because this has got quite a bit of Kentucky hug to it. Well, Georgia hug, great. Right? I love it. Maybe something down there in Georgia this has got some magic and they figured out that magic. You know, in that hot Georgia sun down there. Um, I think they get a little bit of more heat than we do. So, yeah, we're getting that sweetness up front, that syrupy sweetness. It's thick. Um, maple, you said you, you called out maple syrup. I'm going to buy into that 100%. You know what? I'm thinking about this. You know, we both like pecan pie. Yeah. I get a little bit of pecan pie on this. You're Jim. getting some nuttiness on it? Yeah, just a tad bit of nuttiness, but I'm talking about that, that syrup. Cairo, is it Cairo syrup? Cairo syrup is like a corn syrup, corn right? Corn syrup, just a little bit of that yeah. with it. It's a little bit thicker, but you know what I'm talking about? Not the pecan so much, but the other stuff in the pecan pie. Now, pecans are pretty big in Georgia, right? Yeah, but they, I think they call it pecan. There. Pecan. I had somebody the other day said, you know what the difference between a pecan and a pecan is. What's, what's, what's that? And they said, well, you, you pee in a pecan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you never heard that before, Jim? No. No, I never heard of that before. An old lady said that to me. <laughs> so I'm starting to get a little bit of the nuttiness now. I'm, it's, uh, and again, man, I'm terrible. Which nut? Okay. I'm just going to, yeah, nutty. There's a little bit of nuttiness there. Going back to the nose and revisiting it after tasting it, I'm getting butterscotch. Oh, I could get that too. I mean, this is, uh, I, this is, just delicious. And I, uh, to be on, it's kind of unfair because I am a, just a weeded bourbon nut, right? I just, 
dig them all. I there's I haven't found a weeded bourbon I haven't loved yet. And uh, for me, it's very hard to be non-partial to a weeded bourbon. And to be truthful, I didn't know what to expect from this bottle. We'd freshly cracked it open today and said, hey, let's do it. And uh, I didn't know what to expect from a young company with a weeded bourbon. Yeah, so it says on the bottle, a smoothless like unlike any other barrel-proof bourbon is possible because of our blending of traditional aging and 21st century quantum purity patented technology. Enjoy with friends as life is just too short. Cheers. That's Michael Gerard, the founder. Well, we're, we're enjoying it with friends right now. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> for yeah. sure. It's a, I, I, this is a buy all day long. Now, eighty one ninety nine. that's from Total Wine. A um, little high on the spectrum because you could buy a cask strength Makers 46 for right around 56, 60 bucks. This is a craft distillery. It is a craft distillery. So they're not Makers Mark. Um, I, I, I buy into that. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I mean, they're not able to produce the number of barrels it takes to get that price point down yeah. that far. Uh, but they are out there exploring and trying new things. I'm not sure, like I said before, what this quantum purity is. Would be interested to know more about it. But I will tell you this. It's a beautiful bottle. It's a great looking whiskey. Uh, the label is spot on. Nice. I'd love to see this on my bar, but I'm, I'm sure. I'm going to leave it here for you, Jim. Are you really? Yeah. You know, that's hard for me. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised. I'm it, Yeah, I usually get left to rise, but this time a weeded whiskey. A weeded whiskey. Well, I have to have something when I come over to drink. <laughs> okay. There you go. Well, I got a few wellers up there for you. I don't yeah. know. Now, we were talking about price, Jim. You know, if somebody can't get their hands on a weller foolproof, don't be dismayed that, hey, I can't get my hands on that because they are very hard to get, sure. right? Go out there and find something like this right here. Yeah. You're gonna. This is going to cost you about half of what a welder foolproof is going to yeah. cost, anyways. So why not pick up a craft distillery, sp- support a small uh, craft distillery there in Georgia? Um, don't chase that welder foolproof. Yeah. Well, I would like to see this as it as it grows and in maturity and gets a little bit older. And I'm sure they'll have some special releases in the future. This, in fact, already is at a limited release. Uh, they're barrel proof. Uh, so maybe, you know, they're going to have some of this same same whiskey uh, aged a little bit longer, which it's it's already pretty phenomenal. Well, Legends, I Spirits USA, if you're listening to this, I got to say thank you for sending this bottle. Me and Jim appreciate that love and uh, trust in us that we're going to give you a fair review. Um, I can't find anything to beat them up on, on yeah. this, Jim. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I would definitely say that... Uh, if you see this bottle on the shelf, if you're at the distillery and you have a chance to pick it up, I'm urging you to. Uh, of course, everybody's wallet is their wallet. A little bit different, you know. Uh, $81 is not a small amount of money. But, uh, you know, if that if that's something uh, that you would, you're not, you'll have a problem spending, I would say pick it up. If not, find it in a bar, have a drink. Yeah, what a I think it's a very beautiful expression. Obviously, I liked it because I've emptied my glass already. Um, hard pressed to leave it over here for Jim, but like I said, um, I can come over here and grab any bottle off shelf and, and drink it. So it's always nice to come over here and have some weeded bourbon. There you go. Somebody did comment that my shelves were loaded down at home with weeded bourbon. So, um, and I'm sure. Once again, we'll work with Legends in the future. Um, I, a very promising company, young company. They got some other stuff out there. Look for a future episode with them um, on one of our long shows, Jim. So they have a number of expressions that we need to get through. Got a whole bunch of whiskey hidden. All right, I'm looking <laughs> forward to it because I'm. This is the first. This is my first taste of anything from Legends, and uh, pretty impressed. Yeah, I, I can't even imagine what their rye whiskey's like and um, their rye bourbon. It's a uh, very promising. All right. Good deal. Well, Mike, where can everybody find us on the internet? You can find us on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the social media outlets as you can check out. We also have a private Facebook group called the Bourbon Roadies. You got to be 21 to get in there. You got to like bourbon and you got to agree to play nice. 
because uh, we don't tolerate any rudeness in there, right, Jim? That's right. We just want good. Uh, we just want people to get along and enjoy their whiskey and, and have a good time. And uh, what? How many? How many roadies do we have now? Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred roadies. Family. That's a big family. That's a. It's, it's growing. Um, yeah. Speaking of that family, roadies. Listen, I know it's time for another pick for me and Jim. It's time for a pick. Me and Jim traveled down to Bourbon Road the other day. We had some time to talk about a pick. We've got an idea out there. Um, so look for a pick in the coming months from us. Um, we've kind of agreed on a pick, what we'd like to do, keep that price down. Under 40 bucks, we hope, somewhere in that $40, $45 range. So look for that pick. You'll have to go to our website to find it, but we'll probably put some postings in the Bourbon Roadies, but you'll have to be a Bourbon Roadie to get it. That's right. Because there's only usually a couple hundred bottles in a barrel. Less than 200 on, yeah. on the pick we've talked about. Um, it hopefully is going to be a weeded bourbon this time for the weeded king of Kentucky. So I'm super stoked about that. We're working on it right now. So look for that. you got to be a bourbon roadie to do that. Pretty easy. So, Jim, what about our uh, website? Yeah, so... Uh, the bourbon road.com uh, it's our website and on there you will find well you can play our episodes directly on the website if you want to listen to us uh, we also have our blogs on there so every long episode we do every wednesday mike writes a blog for it and uh, then on shorter episodes we have uh, reviews written up so that you can go back and read the reviews of the episodes that we've had uh, kind of a library of bourbon reviews. And we actually have uh, Adam Boothby um, has written a couple of reviews in there. Um, one of our bourbon roadies, one of our moderators, really awesome guy, uh, salt of the earth. And we got a couple other roadies that are helping us out with some reviews that are writing really good reviews, drinking some really good whiskey. You want to check those out before you purchase the bottle, read the review, see what we thought. Absolutely. Well, we also have our Glen Cairns on there, our, our, our ball caps. We've got our, T-shirts are burning bullshit or T-shirts, right? It's hard to keep those in stock. Yeah, I just ordered some more to first. I mean, uh, out. I guess somebody sees somebody wearing a bourbon bullshit or T-shirt and they're like, I got to have one of those. They go pay bourbonroad.com. Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're having a hard time keeping those in stock, but we're going to do our best to always have them available. So if you are um, okay with wearing a shirt that says you're a bourbon bullshitter, and you should be. Make sure you hop on the website and pick one of those up. I think they're about $25, right? But That's pretty fair. I think it's a fair price. And if you're a bourbon roadie, you get what? 10% off on everything on the site That's every pretty, day. That's pretty good. And me and Jim talked about adding a couple other things. Yeah. Um, I'll probably put some fillers out to see about adding some candles um, mm -hmm. to our deal, a bourbon candle, because everybody wants their house sure. to smell like bourbon. You know, I do. Yeah. <laughs> and some other glass types. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. And we appreciate our sponsor. Premium bar products. Oh, most definitely. Just great people to work with. If you um, are looking for some glassware for your home bar, Jim's got a nice bar here um, to put on the bar up there. Work with them. Premium bar products. They can turn you out some fine glassware that's engraved with your logo on it. Absolutely. Well, we do, as we mentioned, two shows a week. Every Monday, we do one of these craft distillery episodes. Every Wednesday, we do a deep dive. Uh, into a distillery we have a guest on we do something fun it lasts about an hour we always want to hear what you have to say and you can reach out to us probably the best way is on instagram i'm jay shannon 63 i'm one big chief and we will see you down the bourbon road You know, you can't drink whiskey without glassware. And Mike and I are extremely pleased to have a sponsor like Premium Bar Products. Premium Bar Products offers direct to consumer the finest whiskey glasses, cocktail glasses, and bar tools with your own personal engraving. I mean, you can write anything you want on these glasses, anything from a company logo to a personal statement. And there are no minimum orders. Their direct consumer platform offers you the opportunity to purchase small quantities of your favorite glass shapes that enhance the pleasure of enjoyment and drinking of whiskey and make it all very positive. They offer the absolute finest trending and handmade glasses as well as a comprehensive range of styles 
and all of their items have been designed with purpose, practicality, and longevity in mind. So if you're a bourbon or whiskey group and you need custom logos, you need to reach out to Premium Bar Products. If you're an individual, you just want a few for your bar, to impress your friends, to give out as gifts, you need to call Premium Bar Products. They need to be your one and only source for custom glassware. I can tell you right now, the Bourbon Road, that's who we use. Janie and Carson and the team there at Premium Bar Products will take care of you. They'll treat you like family and they'll take care of you with every order.